Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Carly and welcome to my YouTube family. So today's video is going to be my February beauty favourites. There's been some new products that I've tried out throughout the month of February and some older favourite products that I've been really loving using throughout February. I've rediscovered them again and I've been using them non-stop lately so I wanted to share all of these products in this favourites video for you today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you're not already and join my little YouTube fam. So let's just jump straight into the video. If you'd like to see all of my February beauty favourites, then please keep watching. Okay, so the first product I want to mention is a new drugstore foundation, and I have to say this is very close to being one of my all-time favourite foundations, even from the drugstore. So I am so, so happy that I discovered this foundation, tried it out, and I'm so in love with it. It just looks beautiful on the skin. I am wearing it today, and I'm just in love. So it is the new foundation from Maybelline. This is the Dream Radiant Liquid Hydrating Foundation. It has hyaluronic acid and collagen. The shade I'm using is 75 Natural Beige, which matches my tan perfectly. And I just can't get over how amazing it makes my skin look. It just has that beautiful, radiant dewiness to it. I've been getting so many compliments wearing this foundation, asking me, what are you wearing on your skin? Your skin looks so glowing and healthy and beautiful. And this has been the foundation I've been using nonstop recently throughout the month of February since I bought it. And I'm absolutely in love with it. It is more of a medium coverage. It does say it has a radiant finish. It gives up to 12 hours of continuous hydration and it visibly improves the look of the skin. So I can definitely say all of those things are correct. I do apply a very light amount and I do find it covers really well. So you can build up the coverage, but my skin's actually been pretty good lately and I have just been using the tiniest bit of this foundation just to even out my skin and it just looks beautiful so highly recommend if you're looking for a new foundation definitely try this one out from Maybelline. Next up is a concealer I've been really loving throughout the month of February is this one here from e.l.f. and this is the Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish Concealer. I love hydrating concealers under my eyes they just look a lot more dewy, more awake and bright in your under eyes as well and they just don't give you that dry flaky appearance which some more matte finish concealers can do especially on my skin being more dry I definitely need something more hydrating so I've been loving using this one this is in the shade light sand this has really good coverage like you only need the tiniest amount and it covers really well so I use this for more glam makeup looks if I'm wanting more of a brighter under eye a little bit more coverage this is definitely the one I use for that so I've been really loving this one from e.l.f. cosmetics next up is a powder that I have revisited and I don't know why I ever stopped using it it's just my go-to everyday pressed powder at the moment is this one here from Maybelline this is the fit me matte and poreless powder for normal to oily skin and it is in the shade 120 classic ivory I like to use a little bit of a lighter shade especially to brighten and highlight under my eyes but then I find I just dust a little bit over the rest of my face and it just gives my skin that beautiful airbrushed flawless look without looking too powdery. So it's definitely been the powder I've used on an everyday basis. I literally just use a little bit of concealer and some powder on the days where I'm not doing a whole lot. I'm not going out too much or if I'm just going to work I just want a little bit of coverage. This is the powder I've been using and it's definitely my favourite pressed powder at the moment. So I highly recommend trying it. Next up I have the powder puffs from Tarte Beauty and I have to say I was a bit skeptical when I first tried them. I was like, oh, are these really going to be that good or not? And trust me, these are amazing. I love using the small one to really get in under the eyes and press in my powder to lock in my concealer. And at the bigger one here I can use for foundation, for bronzer, powder, blush, anything. And it just leaves the most smooth, flawless finish on my skin like no other powder puff has done that I've tried. I've definitely resorted to using this a lot more when I'm doing more glam looks. I love how it presses powder into my skin especially and it just gives it that flawless airbrushed finish. It's really amazing. So if you haven't tried out these, definitely recommend trying them and just to see how you like it if you prefer the powder puff to a brush. If I'm doing more of an everyday natural look, I'll tend to use a brush just to lightly apply powder. But if I want glam makeup, like full coverage, this one is amazing for pressing all your products into the skin so they stay on really well. So love these two products here from Tarte Beauty. Next, I've been loving using more cream products on my cheeks recently using a cream, bronzer, contour and blush. I just think, especially in summer here in Australia, it just gives that beautiful, dewy, radiant look to my skin. So first of all, for bronzer, I've been using this cream one here from Nude Sticks. This is the Nudies All Over Face Color in the shade Bondi Bay. And this is just such a beautiful 
more of a neutral colour. I wouldn't say it's too warm or too cool. It's like the perfect in-between shade that you can use as a bronzer or a contour as well. I am wearing it on my cheeks today. I just literally apply some to the cheeks along my forehead and temples around the jawline and the chin and also to contour down my nose and I use a beauty sponge just to really press it into the skin and it just gives beautiful coverage. It doesn't look too heavy and it just blends into my skin amazing. I really love the formula. It's super creamy, super blendable and it just gives that beautiful warmth to the skin without looking too heavy. So it's a very natural looking product. I've just been loving using this one from Nude Sticks. And also from Nude Sticks, I've been really loving this little blush stick here. This did come in a set with a bronzer and a highlighter. And this one here is the all over face colour in the shade Sweet Peach Peony. So it's a beautiful peachy pink tone. I am wearing this on my cheeks today. And I literally just dab on a little bit onto the sides of the cheeks and I get my beauty sponge and press it in or even my finger. And it just gives that beautiful flush of colour to the cheeks. It just looks amazing. It makes your skin look more healthy and dewy and it gives you that slightly youthful appearance which I believe blush is beautiful at doing that. So I've really been loving this cream blush and I'm definitely going to be trying out a few more colours because I just really like the way it looks on my cheeks and how it just adds that beautiful natural flush of colour. I have discovered a new favourite highlighter of mine and it is from the drugstore which is amazing because I usually find it hard to find good highlighters at the drugstore. They're usually a bit too chunky, a bit glittery, and they just don't look as nice on the skin as more high-end products. But this one here is amazing. It's a loose highlight and is from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Loose Highlighting Powder in the shade I'm So Lit. This is a travel size, but it's still quite big and it's gonna take me a while to get through this. This is a beautiful light champagne gold tone. I am wearing it on my skin today and it is intense, like bright highlight. I do like a really bright highlight on my skin, so I just think this one is beautiful. It just intensifies your highlight. It just makes your skin look glowing and beautiful. I like to use it in the inner corners of the eyes, brow bone, just above my brows, just where all the places where the sun naturally hits your skin. I just think it looks incredible and beautiful. So I'm so happy I found this one from the drugstore and it was literally under $5, so very cheap and affordable. And I've just loved using it throughout February. Moving on to some eye products. First, eyebrows. I have fallen in love with this product. I purchased it a while ago and I kind of just forgot about it. I was using some other products, trying out different brands, but I've come back to this one. It is hands down my favorite brow product at the moment. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Dip Brow Gel, and this is in the shade Chocolate. I think I might need to go one shade darker just because my hair is a bit more darker now. It was more of a darker brown, but now it's almost black. So I think I need to go one more shade darker, but I absolutely love the formula of this. This is all I have in my brows today, and it just gives so much coverage. Just combs my brows into place because it's a brow gel as well, so it helps them stay down. My brows like to kind of flick all over the place, but this definitely holds them in place. And on the days where I'm just in a rush and I don't have enough time to do my brows, just literally putting a few coats of this through the brows is so simple and quick and it's just incredible. The brow brush is so nice to use. It's a bit more of a medium size, so it just gets in there and just quickly disperses the product. And I just find it so easy to use. So if you're looking for a brow product that's quick on the go, that's quite fuss free, this is definitely one to try out. Next I have a couple of eyeliners. These are the new ones here from Fenty Beauty. These are the Fly Pencil Longwear Pencil Eyeliners. I've got the shade Cause I'm Black and also in Big Truffle, which is a dark brown. I'm wearing the dark brown in my waterline today. And this formula is insane. I literally went to put some in my waterline and I couldn't believe how pigmented it was. It was amazing. I've used the black one quite a lot for more darker smoky eyes. I use the brown for more natural glam looks and it stays in my waterline all day long, all night long. It doesn't move, it doesn't smudge, it's waterproof. It just lasts in my waterline. It's so good. I've really loved the Marc Jacobs eyeliners but these ones I would say are very close to that as well. So Hopefully I've found some more good eyeliners because these ones are a little bit cheaper than the Marc Jacobs ones and I really love the formula so definitely recommend trying these. Also from Fenty Beauty, I really love trying out this mascara here, the new mascara from Fenty. It's amazing. I love the packaging. This is the Full Frontal Volume Lift and Curl Mascara. Now the wand on this is very unique and different to any other wand I've seen on a mascara. It's got like a flat side and then more of a curved angle side so it really pushes your lashes up to give them that lift and curl, but it also lengthens and adds volume as well. It pretty much does everything you want in a mascara. So if you're looking to try out a new mascara, definitely recommend trying this one. 
It's probably in my top three at the moment with my Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara and also NARS Climax. But I've really loved trying this one out in the past month or so, so I definitely wanted to mention it in today's video. Next, I have a couple of new eyeshadow palettes that I've been using throughout the past month, and I've just really loved using them. They've pretty much been all I've used recently. The first one here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrezy palette. Oh my god, I am so in love with this palette. It is so incredible. Uh, first of all, this packaging is just everything. It's so stunning. So these are all the shades in the palette. I love the range of colors. You've got your beautiful transition shades, which I believe you need in every palette, just so you don't have to keep grabbing different palettes. And it has some beautiful, sparkly, shimmery colors. This blue is just incredible. I really love some of these shimmer glitter shades down the end here. And... I just think the formula of these palettes is incredible. I love Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. And I just find myself reaching for this so much, especially for this bottom row of these matte shades, like the browns, the black. They're just your typical staple colors. And then I love adding in some extra color with the purples as well. So I've been finding myself using this for more natural glam looks, using the lighter browns with one of the light shimmer colors and also for more fuller glam looks with the black, brown, and the purple as well. So... If you haven't tried this palette, I definitely recommend trying it. The colors are amazing. The formula is absolutely beautiful, like all of Anastasia Beverly Hills products. And it's definitely a favorite that I can see myself using for a long time. And another eyeshadow palette I've really loved using is this one here from Tati Beauty. This was her first eyeshadow palette release. This is the Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette. I love the packaging. It's just so sleek and so beautiful. And this palette, in my opinion, just has everything you need for your typical natural glam and full glam looks. I love that the rows have different finishes in each shade. I can just find myself going to one row and using all those colors if I just want to do a very natural glam look or I can go between a few different ones. Today, I've mostly used this column here called Soothe. I use the brown as my transition shade. I use this beautiful shimmer as my base color. Then I dipped into the glitter and can I say the glitter is so beautiful and pigmented. I did use it with my finger and I did use a little bit of eyeshadow glue adhesive first and it just pressed on with pretty much no fallout. So that's amazing for a glitter. And I also dipped into the darker brown shade here. But I can't wait to play with this palette some more. I definitely want to do a look on my channel with this. So let me know what kind of colors you want me to do. Whether it's more purples, adding in some more oranges to do more of that sunset beautiful colors or even as darker smoky eyes. Let me know what kind of look you would like me to do with this palette. But I definitely love the formulas of all of these ones here. The mattes are beautiful, they are so pigmented, so creamy, so easy to blend, and the glitters are like insane pigmented as well. So I've definitely loved using this palette throughout the month of February. Lastly, I have a couple of lip products. This has been my go-to favorite nude lip combo recently. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. First of all, I've been lining my lips with the Morphe lip pencil. This one is in the shade Backseat Love. It's a beautiful, soft nude pink color. I just find that this Pretty much complements my own lip color just a little bit darker and I just find it goes with so many nude colors. I've been wearing a little bit more of the nude pinks lately just for something different. I usually wear more of the nude brown tones or peaches but I've been going for a bit more of a pink look and I absolutely love how this lip pencil pairs with it. So this has been my favorite lip pencil to use throughout the month of February. For lipstick I've been going with more of a shiny lip look, more creamy finished lipsticks recently. My favorite one to use has been this one from Maybelline. This is the lip color in the shade Baddest Beige. This is such a beautiful nude pink shade. I really like the packaging. It's so sleek and beautiful. I have this on my lips today and it just gives the most beautiful nude creamy pink finish. I think that this color just complements any makeup look that you do when you're wanting to pair it with a nude lip. So this is definitely one of my favorite cream finish lipsticks at the moment. And lastly for gloss, I have been using this one from Fenty Beauty nonstop lately. It came in a little mini size in a little holiday gift set. I do believe it is now full size. I'm so happy about that because I really love it. This is one of the Gloss Bomb lip colors in the shade Sweet Mouth. It's a very beautiful, soft baby pink color and it just pairs beautifully over any nude lipstick. I just pop a little bit in the center of my top and bottom lip and it just gives that bit of extra shine. It doesn't have glitter in it. It's more of like a pearlized finish. It's so beautiful, but it just adds that beautiful glossy, shiny look to the lips. So I've been loving using this one the past month. So those are all of my favorite beauty products for the month of February. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your favorite products have been recently. I'll definitely have to try them out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already below. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.